Today's episode, I discuss how to go about creating a template in Notion. You might decide that it's better to refer to the video for this broadcast. So feel free to access the link in the description to view the page in Notion along with the video. If you're using Notion in your own teaching practice, feel free to share your experiences. You can reach out to me via my Twitter handle at B-N-L-E-E-Z. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. My name is Benjamin Stewart at BenjaminLStewart.org. Today I want to spend a few minutes talking about Thesis Seminar, specifically how to go about using a template to schedule your bi-weekly reflections and also your bi-weekly tutoring sessions. So from the Thesis Seminar main page, if you scroll down, you'll see a section called Course Schedule. And further on down, you'll see a section called Tutoring Sessions. So the Tutoring Sessions is where we're going to add our reflective journals and also schedule our tutoring sessions. So to schedule either your weekly journals or your bi-weekly journals, I should say, or your bi-weekly tutoring sessions, Click the down arrow next to the word new, and you'll see a, an option to select tutoring reflection journal. You select there. Okay, you're going to get a pop-up menu within your browser. Now, if you're not familiar with Notion, you typically have either uh, a way to add information to a new page through a pop-up menu, or you can open it up as a page, which is what we're going to do now, and that will take... Um, full view that will use the entire browser uh, for the page. Okay, either way works though. You can use just the pop-up menu. It saves continuously, so any changes that you make are automatically saved. So when we schedule our journal or our tutoring session, the first thing to do is to include our name at the top. And I think just including our first name is fine. If you have a common first name or if you have the same name, as some of your classmates, then maybe um, abbreviate your your last name. You can keep it brief, though. It's not necessary to write out your full name, but just make sure that your name uh, is e- it's easy to distinguish between you and, and maybe a, another classmate with a similar name. So let's say that we want to first schedule a weekly or biweekly uh, journal. All right, so. If you scroll down here, you'll see some instructions about how to use this template. So one of the main differences here is how to complete the date. If we're going to complete our journal for this week, let's say today is the 23rd, then we can include our journal by selecting the date the Friday of that week. Today's the 24th. On Thursday, again, just select the Friday, the 25th in this case. Right, and that's all you need to do. By default, the category will should read thesis seminar reflection. There should not be any changes necessary to that. Next to roster, however, you'll click on this field and a pop-up menu will appear where you will select your name and your ID. I'm not going to do that now, but make sure that you always select your name next to roster. Next to type, you're given two options, journal entry and tutoring session. In this case, we're going to select journal entry. Now, if you scroll down below the instructions where it says template, you'll notice two sets of questions. The first set of questions are mandatory. right, so here we have four questions. The first being, what have you completed this week? The second, what challenges did you face this week? The third question, what do you plan to complete next week? And the fourth question, what challenges do you anticipate next week? And how do you plan to overcome them? So if you select the down arrow here, this toggle switch, you're given an option to complete information to answer each of these four questions. So you would add your answer to each of these four questions by selecting the toggle switch next to each of the four. 
All right, and this is how you would do that. These are four mandatory questions, and I'm asking everyone to answer these four questions uh, between 150 to 200 words total. The second set of questions are optional. These are primarily questions related to specific sections of your thesis paper, and there is a general question at the bottom. So feel free to, to answer any of these questions, but uh, these are optional. The reason for these questions and using this reflective uh, journal is for me to be able to better provide feedback and interventions as you're progressing throughout the writing of your thesis. So I'm going to be using this, uh, this format, th these questions, this information to help you uh, in our online sessions. Now, once you have completed this, this saves automatically. So there's nothing to save. There's nothing to, um, you know, there's, uh, you don't have to hit the save button. It saves automatically. And you'll notice if we go back to our tutoring page or our main page from Thesis Seminar, you'll notice that the entry has been saved. All right. Now, there are three actually that are appearing here because I, I actually did this once earlier already, so let me just delete these. This is the entry we just created, right? And I can click on open again. I can always go back and uh, make any changes if I need to, if I want to add information, right? You could even perhaps add over the course of a day or two and add information as, it's, uh, as it pertains to your situation. But that's all that needs to be uh that you need to do. If for any reason you need to delete this entry, you can click on anywhere on this row. If you right click, you're given the option to delete. Again, to open it, you can hit open. If you want to open up as a page, you can also do that. Now let's say that you want to now schedule your next tutoring session. From at the beginning of the semester, I'm going to ask everyone to choose a day of the week and an, a time in 30-minute increments. And I'm going to ask everyone to try to be consistent throughout the semester so that we're not changing too much your schedule. I would really like to stick to a schedule throughout the semester. So once you have determined the day of the week and the, the hour that you would like to meet, then we're going to use the same process to schedule your tutoring session. So again, next to the new option, the drop-down menu or the drop-down arrow will give you an option to select the template called Tutoring Reflection Journal. So again, we'll select that. We will add our name. Now, the difference between the journal entry and scheduling a tutoring session relates to the date. So if we select the date, in this case now we're going to select end date and include time. Because again, we're scheduling a tutoring session, so we want to also indicate the 30 minute increment that we um, that you plan to, to meet. So, so let's say that we're going to meet at noon, p.m., change this to p.m., and we'll meet for 30 minutes, so we'll change this to 12 30. So we're going to have a tutoring session. Let's say today's Monday, and we, I want to schedule it for the next day. Just as an example, you certainly could change this and, and uh, schedule it a week in advance. But let's say for the sake of this, um, this demo here, we are going to select the next day, in this case the 22nd. So we have the uh, 22nd, make sure that the 22nd is chosen for both the start and end date. So here we want to make sure that we have the 22nd uh, selected. So we have the uh, we have the day the 22nd starting at noon and the end date the same and we're going to include our session at 12 by 1230. All right, so let me change this. Okay, now we have the the range, the actual range, the time, the start date, and the end date for our tutoring session. The category, again, by default, will read Thesis Seminar Reflection, so nothing to change there. Remember to click the drop-down menu next to Roster to select your name and ID, 
and next to title. In this case, we're going to select tutoring session. All right, so these are the properties that we'll complete for our tutoring session. The rest of the template is exactly the same. You will want to cl complete the four mandatory questions by selecting the drop down toggle switch here. The additional questions are optional. Once we have completed this, notice that now our, our entry is complete. All right, so we have one tutoring session and we also have one journal entry. All right, now there is a, an additional way to add your journal entry and your tutoring session. Notice here it says table view. If you select the drop down menu, you'll be given an option to view the same content using the calendar view. So let's say that you want to add a weekly reflection. And let's say that today's the 21st. We want to select the, that Friday for that week. Or better yet, maybe it's a Wednesday or Thursday. I actually wouldn't suggest that you complete the reflection uh, that early in the week. I would wait till at least Wednesday or Thursday. But let's say that you know it's tw the 23rd or 24th, and we're going to we're going to add a reflection for the week. So we need to always choose Friday. So we're going to select the plus arrow or the plus icon, and we're going to include the same information here. All right, the date will be by default because you've already selected that date. Now the category you will need to change, so make sure that you always select Thesis Seminar Reflection. This won't be by default because we didn't choose the template from the beginning. Um, roster, we'll need to choose our name and the type. In this case, it's going to be a journal entry. Now here, notice that the template does not appear, but we have the option of adding the template. So we always want to select Tutoring Ref Reflection Journal, and now the same information appears as we saw before. So the same process will apply here. But uh, notice that in this case, we had to select Category, the, the Property Category, and um, everything else basically is the same. And that's it. We, we uh, click out of that, and notice now the entry appears. Let's say that we want to schedule a tutoring session for the 23rd. We can select here, add our name. Now here we want an end date and include the time. So in this case, we've got the 23rd selected, and it's going to be, we'll schedule it for noon, and we'll schedule it in 30-minute increments. That's it. The category, we're going to have to select Thesis Seminar Reflection. The roster, we'll need to select our name. In this case, Tutoring Session next to the type. And again, because the template does not appear, we need to select the template. Now we're given an option to answer these questions using these toggle switches. All right, so just a slightly different way of doing it if you prefer the calendar view. So again, you decide what, uh, what works for you, what's the easiest. Notice here we could always select the template from the calendar view by selecting the drop-down menu, the drop-down arrow next to the word new. And that will take us again to the exactly, exact same template. Okay, so this, in this case, the template appears automatically, as does the category, Thesis Seminar Reflection. We add our name, we add our date, depending on if it's a journal entry or a tutoring session, the roster, and the type. Okay, so just a couple of ways, uh, actually three different ways of really uh, going about adding uh, this information. As you get more used to using Notion, uh, this will, I think, become a little bit easier. And so I think we'll stop there. If you guys have any questions about how to add content, let me know. If you make a mistake, you can always right-click on any of these entries and remove them. Just be careful not to inadvertently delete any of your uh, classmates' entries. This has been In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. Thanks for watching.